Hi, Pisces, getting ready to do your reading. Okay, let's see what is going, oh, going on for you. You have playfulness, which I actually wrote happy on there, and love, possibly going with the flow. All right, so Spirit's saying just to be kind of happy right now, be playful, go with the flow of things, especially when it comes to love, your love life. What's going on for Pisces? The wheel, nine of cups, the two of wands, high priestess, and the judgment card. Do judgment because you could, oh, you might have an earth sign coming back, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, doing more. Who may be holding back or hiding feelings to a swords, one more please. And the full, a brand new beginning, okay. So you may meet someone when you're like at a coffee shop or Snyder Cups can be like a place that serves food or drink, any sort of place. Um, if, if you are looking for love, it might be a good idea to just be kind of playful when you're out. There could be someone that you meet who initially also is a little bit quiet, standoffish, shy, who then opens up to a more playful energy. If you're dealing with someone right now who seems kind of holding back, they could be more open with this playful, happy energy here. So kind of go with the flow. I also get don't write anyone off too soon, uh, meaning like you may think they're not interested, and but they could be, so just give it a little time. All right, and again, that could be like someone you meet or you've met recently. Queen of Swords. Justice. So maybe you're going through like a transitional period is what I'm getting. You're meant to look at the past. You're meant, you may feel stuck at the moment, but if you are, that's okay. Just keep going with the flow because this is you clearly looking back um, at like your emotions, what's happened, what it is you want also in the future. So if you do, but the nice thing is, is that you have the wheel of fortune. So it does say things are moving. These things will be picking up. This may be a time where you can't force anything. You can't force love, you can't force a new job, you can't force things, but you are, um, like you need to sit down and like don't be anxious, see the past clearly, see what went well, what didn't, what you want in the future. There may be a significant Pisces, but I feel like this is emotions, but we'll clarify really quick. Seven of coins, yeah, you have options and opportunities. Seven of coins it reminds me of like what you've done, what you learned, who you are, uh, what you wanna do in the future what your skills are. It can mean love too if you have like more, more, more than one option, but usually that's a seven of cups to me. I get you're getting away from players also. There could be someone though coming towards you that's a fire sign also that maybe you work with or you know them from your work or their work. So I feel like you have a new option in love for some of you coming in, but I feel like you do know them. Page of Cups, Three of Swords, and the Four of Cups. Kind of like this is also a good time to make amends with anyone that you feel is necessary. And if there is anybody that maybe you passed over, that maybe might be a good, you know, like, I feel like there's something maybe you missed in your past that you didn't see the opportunity there or the option. You could be the one reaching out to someone. You don't have to apologize or anything like that. I'm not saying apologies. I'm just saying, you know, you may be disappointed that you didn't give them a chance in the past or that you lost touch with this person, um, something like that. It could be an earth sign. It could be someone who's really happy to hear from you is also in getting here. So be playful, be open. You don't have to make this like heavy. You don't have to like, I kind of just like someone, something you missed in the past, someone you might have missed, or maybe they're missing you. It could be their energy missing you. I have the page of cups here. So it kind of looks like you may be reaching out, but it doesn't have to be. This person could be getting out of a relationship that maybe they wanted something serious and it wasn't. In the hidden position, you have justice here. Be open to your dreams. I'm getting if you're looking for a career change or to make some sort of move when it comes to your money or your work and you're not sure what to do, listen to your intuition, listen to your dreams for swords. There is a there is an energy here in your reading of like pausing and again, 
like taking stock of what you know, what, where you've been and where you want to go. Because you don't want to keep just blindly going ahead if you're unhappy, you know, if you're unhappy in love and happy, unhappy in your work. Uh, you really want to make decisions about what you want to change, what you want to leave behind. All right, Pisces, you have door. Yes, yeah, those opportunities are waiting for you. Okay, let's see what else. Pisces, you have fire. There's strong emotion here. It says passionate love or hate. I don't think it's hate. I think it's love. I think there could be some, you know, something passionate coming towards you. You got the lovers and the chariot energy here. This may have been somebody that you did work with. I may have already said that, but I'm just going to repeat it. I'm sorry. Because, and they might be a Libra or Pisces or an earth sign, if you know their sign. But um, there was somebody who maybe really um, had good, like, strong feelings for you that would be a good person, like, in love. I'm also getting something about go for what you're passionate about with that card. Go towards what you want to do when it comes to, like, um, your everyday work or what you do for hobbies. You're going to be receiving a gift. Something that will bring peace and harmony. A gift could be peace and harmony. If things have been struggling, if you've been difficult, you may be receiving, um, like you, answers. I'm getting you may be receiving answers from the universe if you listen. Also, you could be receiving more peace. I can't slow down. You need to slow down and look. There are opportunities, but you may not be seeing them. Okay, let me just keep going here. One more. You have both money or property, possibly through an inheritance, winning, windfall. And you're slowly but surely getting ahead. Some of you may be receiving some money, be able to pay off some debt if you have debt. Um, I get little things coming towards you, nice little things, like little um, unexpected surprises, things that make life easier. I do get you maybe reconciling with someone or someone maybe apologizing for this Four of Cups. I get life will get easier. Life is getting easier with the Ten of Cups. Some may be getting out of a relationship and wanting to come towards you. Some may be expressing love with Three of Cups under there. It could be someone like a with a name like Chad or yeah, getting out of a toxic situation. It could be a fire sign. Oh, maybe this is somebody who's very passionate. It could be a fire sign, Leo or Capricorn also. This could be, like, be, I don't know. I feel like this could actually be you looking towards something that's more passionate. Let's see what's showing up in your love life. I wasn't going to pull these cards, but it's definitely looking like there could be. I get a past person or an ex coming back towards you. It's clear now that someone is missing you. They feel they've made mistakes, but things are starting to change. Someone's changing or doing something differently. This could be someone who comes back who has who has changed. Uh, maybe again they're getting out of uh, something long term. They could be someone who's like doesn't want to be a player anymore. They don't want to just party and sleep around. They want something committed. Uh, they could be getting out of a marriage. I think I've said that already, but all right. I feel like they won't take you for granted this time. I feel like they would be a better partner. So again, I'm seeing a lot of returns because of the retrograde, the energy we're in. Just be careful of going back to anything that was toxic, anything that, you know, won't bring you peace. You don't want or need that. I do feel like you have more than one option though here. I do feel like I said, I feel like there's someone who may be kind of shy, someone that you've either met recently or will meet who, will, who takes their time to open up. And then this King of Wands energy, though, with the devil next to it, it makes me a little bit nervous because I do feel like you're looking back with clarity, Queen of Swords energy, because you are looking back at what this person did, how they treated you, and have they changed. Ask for divine guidance. Ask for a sign if that is applying to you when it comes to like people coming back. Yes, it could be a lot of fun, <clears throat> but the King of Wands energy with the devil can be something that is exciting and thrilling at first, but could fizzle out later. And, or it could be something toxic. Again, I feel like some of you definitely need a new career path or job path or something just different in your life if you don't work. Something that would be exciting. Love yourself first. Yeah, do what's best for you. What makes you happy. I'm seeing reconciliations for some of you definitely in this reading. And very soon. Very soon, someone's coming back. Trust. Some may actually have a tortoise or a turtle or something. I'm getting... 
I'm seeing someone maybe getting a new pet. They might keep you company or just it would be fun. But someone has a garden. Someone has a turtle in their garden. They feed it lettuce. It says, careful creature cloaked in colors. Give me heart with peace. Oh. It says, Decide, disguised chameleon. Camouflage, versatility. That's an interesting card. I don't know if that's ever come out. It's like you don't want to be seen right now. You want to kind of fade in. You kind of want to be like, you know, you want peace. You don't want to be, you don't want to be caught up in drama. So careful of other people's drama. Don't get involved with third parties. Don't get involved with that kind of stuff because that's not going to be useful. That's stuff you want to get away from at this time. You don't want to take this energy into 2025. Um, exes with baggage or you don't want, you know, third party situations. You kind of want to be hidden from that stuff. You don't, yeah. I do see you having more peace though here. I do see you receiving a gift, even if it's from the universe, an opportunity. Someone may work in like a mall or you may get a job in a mall. It could be also temporary seasonal work. You may even work in a jewelry store is what I'm getting. You might have a, fun, a lot of fun. You may get a, like a part-time job coming up here that would bring in some extra money. And it, it would be good. It would help you feel like you're getting ahead. Somebody may also win a contest or something. Uh, win some money in a way. It doesn't have to be lotto and it doesn't have to be huge. It just, it's like, I get like you winning some money, receiving a money. Like as, you know, like when you work and like, if you are top salesman, you get a prize. I kind of feel that for someone as well. There's a masculine energy here who believing in the right timing. There's been no contact with this person saying sex and good time. Yeah, I see, I see that here. I see someone wanting to get away from that, like maybe wanting something more solid. You'll be hearing from this person. Someone's reaching out. They want to reconcile. So careful of, again, who you're reconciling with, what, it's, what they want permanently, the long-term, what you're looking for. You may need to surrender or freedom, everlasting soulmate, and healing. There could be some healing releasing and healing releasing them or releasing they've done some releasing so again it's important right now to be pay attention about who's in your life for what reasons all right pisces let me do one card here perfect timing i get help though being helped some of you being helped um don't worry everything is arriving on schedule there's no rush there's faith it says be here now so again it's saying go with the flow be playful Love is coming in. It's happening when it's meant to happen. All right, I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Have a great week.